Alrighty, so well, there's still only a couple of minutes before the Atlanta United versus Chicago Fire game starts. Uh, and by the time I finish this video, I'll probably just backtrack from the start of the game. Uh, I'm going to do a quick preview of tomorrow's Sunday action, which we will have three games that's going to be happening tomorrow to wrap up match week number 10. Uh, two of them, of course, going to be on regional television, and one of them is going to be on FS1. And without further ado, let us actually get to the first game, which is the Vancouver Whitecaps versus Toronto FC. And by the way, uh, because I want to get the review for the Saturday action done tomorrow, most likely I am actually going to either pause this one or pause this game as soon as this game of course kicks off because you know i want to get that one done i don't want to do a gigantic 14 game review by the time this game finish but in terms of this one we have an all canadian affair between vancouver versus toronto fc all uh, the white caps have a 1-1-6 one, one, and six record and tfc had a 3-2-5 and five record and you could maybe say that this is kind of a desperation derby because both of these teams desperately need a win the white caps i mean they desperately need a win to stay out of the wooden spoon spot and Toronto FC desperately need a win because, yeah, it seems like they're they're back to that their slow start to the season and back to when when Bob Bradley got off to a terrible little start in his room with Toronto FC with back to back losses and them also losing three in a row. Now this game will start at 4 p.m. Eastern, 1 p.m. Pacific, but the actual kickoff is a 1:08 p.m. local time, so an afternoon lunchtime kickoff in Vancouver for this one. Uh, all-time meeting in this all-Canadian affair. It's TFC leading the all-time meeting, 9-4-7. and seven. Uh, The last five head-to-head matchup, it was a 2-2 draw between both of these teams. Then the Whitecaps winning 3-2 against TFC. Uh, TFC did win 1-0 against the Vancouver Whitecaps. Keep in mind, the last three meetings were all part of what happened in 2020 when we saw, saw a situation where... Uh, or actually, no, uh, I'm sorry. Sorry, I forgot they... they Play against each other last year. Actually, did they play against each other last year. I might have got confused because you know I know there was a all Canadian affair in in the tw 2020 season when you know Canadian team were basically playing against each other three time in a short amount of period because you know Canadian team weren't able to travel across the border. But somewhere like that, you know that these last five head to head meeting, three of them, of course, is the case. But uh, TFC, of course, then went three nothing against Vancouver, and then it was a one one draw between both of these teams so you could say that tfc does have the advantage in terms of the last five head ten matchup as vancouver has only won one of them though that one game that vancouver won was at home at bc plays and again this is a team that is desperate in terms of get getting wins this is not what white caps fan was was envisioned their season go to be under vanny sartini and you could even safe to say that maybe sartini has started to feel the heat a little bit because i think the honeymoon period is definitely all over for for Sartini with the way that, you know, yes, he did guide this this team to the, the playoffs last season. But now it seems like more and more like that was not just a fluke, but also because of the fact that that team was playing under that, that the confidence of Sartini. And it can only get you as, as far until, you know, you do start a new new season. And that if you do get, get, get off to a slow start, then, you know, especially now, nowadays in terms of MLS, you know, fans are going to be 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 openly criticized on you, but you know we'll see if they can maybe get only their second win of the season or TFC. Who again, you know, it's been a disastrous last couple of weeks, losing to FC Cincinnati twice in a span span of just three days, and now you know playing their third game in seven days. It's not going to be easy for them in terms of the fitness level, as you know. They're, I think they're 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 one of the few teams to, of course, have to suffer the same fate of playing three games in a span of seven days because i did mention when they did play against fc cincinnati as part of that that appetizer game for the big concave champions league final second leg match oh that was the first time we've seen a midweek game happen this season in the league now moving on in terms of the next match we got nashville sc versus rsl so nashville playing their second game at geo this park but still looking for their first ever win in franchise history uh or no i'm sorry their first ever win at geo this park they they have won many games in in terms of their their franchise history but they're still looking for, for their first one in their brand new stadium and they're coming into this game with a free free and free record while rsl have a four four and two record uh this game will start at 5 p.m eastern 2 p.m pacific but the actual kickoff is 408 p.m local time uh only two other meeting prior to this one and it it was RSL having the advantage 1-1-0 over Nashville. In fact, the only win 
happened just earlier this year when RSL was able to win 2-1 against Nashville in a game where I thought that was one of the best games that Nashville has played. But unfortunately, their finishing kind of let them down and hence that's why they end up on the losing end. And then, then last year in the first ever meeting, they drew 0-0 against each other. So there's no doubt that Nashville would definitely want some revenge coming out of this game. Especially again, if they can play like that, that in the last game against RSL on the road, there could be a good chance that they're going to be be winning again and you know for RSL after they got a big victory in the last game to kind of stop the bleeding a little bit because you can clearly see this team is starting to come down back down to earth after that great start that they had to the season you know let's see if they can can get things go, going and maybe get another victory against Nashville to complete the season some sweep but finally heading into the last game of match week number 10 is Austin versus the LA Galaxy. So this is really finally the moment where I think Los Verdes fans can finally say that this is the game that will really send a message to the rest of the league that this team is for real. Because I know right now there's been been a, a lot of Austin fans are kind of upset with the media for not giving them them credit and the the fact that you know I know they have play play a, a very easy schedule, but you could say that maybe in some way they kind of rightfully so deserve credit because again. As the old saying goes, you can only play against who you're facing. And it's, you know, it's not their fault, the fact that they get to play against so many easy teams. But now this could be a chance for them to really prove those doubt are wrong. Because they are playing against a Galaxy team that, you know, I will say that if there's one thing I, I'll say about the, the Galaxy. And maybe those media people will, will still have doubt with Austin if they, though they can get all three points. Is that the Galaxy have been struggling lately. I mean, this has started to look... Like a similar story to last season where once Chicharito started to not able to score goals, this offense basically dried up. And it's been shown in the last couple of games where they have had a lot of trouble in terms of scoring. And they, they have now have a record of 5-1-3. and three. Now this game will start at 7 p.m. Eastern, 4 p.m. Pacific, but the actual kickoff is 6.25 p.m. local time. And because of the fact that the kickoff is significantly later than the actual advertising time, you know this game is going to be on FS1, and indeed it is the case. Uh, All-time meeting, uh, both teams have one win apiece. In fact, in terms of the last two head-to-head meeting, both teams have two nothing wins apiece, with Austin winning 2 nothing at home against the Galaxy, and then the Galaxy winning 2 nothing against Austin. So in some way, it's kind of a rubber match in terms of to decide who maybe will get, get the, 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 the go-ahead in this kind, kind of third meeting between both of these teams. But like I said, you know, for Austin... This is a big opportunity for, to prove pe people that, yeah, this team is definitely for real. And knowing the fact that this this team has done very well so far this season at home, I won't be surprised they will get the, the victory because, again, you know, a lot of their attacking threat is definitely hitting hitting on all cylinder. I mean, they even have, have a guy that, that I think you could even say that he's leading the MVP vote in Sebastian Jerusi that has really gone off with this team. Whereas for the Galaxy, again, you know, unless if Chicharito doesn't get going for this team, I just wonder where the goals is going to come come from from this team. And the longer they don't figure that out, the more that I feel like like the the start of the season, which is you know they got all to a great start to the season, but it really is a mirage when you look at the fact that most of those wins that they had is because Chicharito was contributing in the goal scoring chart. But either way, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, make sure you guys see a like, smash the subscribe button. Like I said, it's a relatively quick video where I look at the free games that's going to be happening tomorrow. But if you enjoy this video, make sure you guys leave a like, smash the subscribe button, and let me know in the comments below what do you think is going to happen in these free games. And make sure you leave it in the comment section your prediction for all three of these games. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys next time.